Hey, what's going on guys? It's Brainbean here again, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Drevo Blade Master. It's a gaming keyboard with some pretty cool features that you may not have seen before. In keeping up with the theme of giving back to you guys, I am going to be hosting a giveaway for this keyboard as well. You'll find a link located down in the description below, so make sure you guys check that out because you're not going to want to miss out on entering to win this keyboard. But for now, let's go ahead and check this thing out. Starting as always with construction and design, the Drevo Blade Master is an 87 key, 10 keyless mechanical keyboard with an exposed switch design over a fingerprint resistant metal backplate. Now immediately out of the box, I was surprised by just how heavy it was. The Blade Master really feels solid and gives a real feeling of quality to it right out of the box. The Blade Master is currently only available in 10 keyless variants. They have a regular version that you see here, and there's also a wireless pro version. Aesthetically, the board has a clean design. There is some Drevo branding illuminated in the space bar as well as some other branding on the backplate just below the space bar, but I think they did a good job in making it look pleasing enough to the eye. And speaking of pleasing, you can't look at the Blade Master and not notice the beautiful RGB light bars that wrap around the entire keyboard. In terms of lighting, the Blade Master is pretty impressive. The lights are nice and vibrant and they get plenty bright. So much so that I've been keeping mine set to about 10 out of the 15 different brightness levels. The clear switch bodies on the Gateron RGB switches do a really great job at accentuating the lighting and they provide an overall great looking lighting experience. Unfortunately, the software that controls the lights falls a little bit flat for me. On the surface, the Drevo Power Console software looks clean and it's easy enough to navigate. However, creating custom profiles is a little bit clunky at first as it took me about 10 minutes just to set the keyboard to a simple rainbow wave pattern. The software is a vast improvement for Drevo, however, as they used to only have onboard controls on their keyboards and seeing them take the step to have a unified peripheral control system is a positive step. Frustrations aside, the software does offer a large amount of preset lighting effects and it also allows you to layer them as well and you can save up to three profiles onto the keyboard's memory. The Blade Master uses Gateron RGB switches and it's available in blue, red, brown, and black varieties. I chose to get mine in the brown switches as I haven't personally tried Gateron browns yet. I used Gateron reds recently for the first time and was pretty impressed by just how smooth they were. The Gateron browns, much like my experience with the reds, was surprisingly very smooth. You'll notice that they don't feel as bumpy as cherry browns do, which some people may or may not like. Gateron also seems to have less key wobble than cherries do. Ultimately, Gateron has continued to impress me with their quality and feel, and either way, it's a step up from the Altimu switches that Drevo's used in the past. And because it's one of my videos, I can't leave you guys without a sound test, so here are the Gateron Browns with the Drevo Blade Master. The keycaps on the Blade Master are made of ABS plastic and they have a nice smooth texture to them. And I appreciate the clean looking font, but my one gripe here is that the secondary characters on the board are not illuminated. And it just seems like kind of a careless omission at this point with RGB keyboards these days. In terms of extras, the Blade Master doesn't bring too much to the table. There's no included wrist rest, dedicated media keys, or USB pass through. Drevo does include a nice wired keycap puller, which are much nicer than the cheap plastic ones that most keyboards come with, and it does include a brush for dusting in between the switches. What really makes the Blade Master stand out is what Drevo calls the genius knob. This dial located on the left side of the board can be mapped out to any number of functions to augment your gaming and productivity. In this regard, the Drevo software performed really well and mapping the functions was super easy. The knob has four commands that you can set. You can turn the dial forwards, backwards, do a single tap or double tap. It's a neat concept, but one that I feel like ultimately falls flat for ultra gaming competitive applications. For productivity like video editing for example, I think it's awesome as you can bind all kinds of commands for color correcting or really whatever you want and having a dial is actually very useful for a lot of these applications. But for competitive gaming, which is really what it's marketed for, to really make use of these commands, you have to completely remove your left hand from the keyboard, which in my mind totally removes its usefulness. 
why not just use macros bound to one of the other keys around your hands already? For MMOs and other less fast paced games, it's a pretty neat addition, but I certainly don't see it giving you a competitive edge in a battle royale. One thing I think is really cool about the Blade Master is the inclusion of the dip switches on the underside of the board. Now these let you change the way the keyboard is programmed for the actual layout. So you can change it from QWERTY to more typist friendly layouts like Dvorak or Colmac mode for example. It's just really cool because you don't typically see this feature on gaming keyboards. Overall, I feel like Drevel really knocked it out of the park with this keyboard. Even though I feel like the Genius Knob doesn't necessarily revolutionize gaming, its utility isn't lost on me. And even without the knob, the Blade Master is a super solid keyboard that radiates quality just as much as it does its beautiful lighting. For 90 bucks, it really is a great keyboard all around. It's not too often that I'm surprised by a keyboard these days, but the Blade Master really won me over, so much so that I think it might earn a place on my desk for a while. Well, that's it for the review, guys. Let me know in those comments down below what you think about the Blade Master, and particularly that genius knob on the side. Do you think that it's actually pretty useful or maybe a little bit gimmicky? I want to know your thoughts. Be sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it to show your support. And if you're new here, I'd love to see you subscribe as I do have a lot more videos like this coming for you in the near future. And while you're down there, don't forget to enter the giveaway located down in the description below. Well, that's it for the video, guys. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.